So um, with today's scientific methods, can you certainly, uh, I mean, be certain that when you say a hurricane that's going over the ocean will go in a certain path, or is it still the case that it could, for some reason, turn and go in another direction, as happened to a ship I was on with my daughter and, and the Phantom? Okay. What year was that? In the late 80s or early 90s? Went down because it was going to avoid a hurricane and the we hurricane won't. turned for some reason. I mean, is it is it possible the to late 80s, we predict had, with a certainty today? We've had a lot of improvement in track forecasting since the late 80s. Um, in 1984, there was a typhoon... I think it was Typhoon Abbey that put a US Navy admiral and his fleet in the path of a typhoon because the forecast wasn't right. So he threw a lot of money at research to fix that. And when the Navy wants something, they're fairly determined. And there was a, a big jump forward in forecasting skill for track. Now, of course, we can still get the track wrong. And you should not look at just the line they put that forecast cone. Do you remember seeing the cone of uncertainty? That's there for a reason, because we now have methods with the, the hurricane forecast models where we can do all kinds of tests. And we can say, the system will, within 70% you know, likelihood, be inside that cone. All right, But we can't say exactly where. And so if you're anywhere inside that cone, you should prepare for the worst and then be glad when it doesn't happen, all right? And that's, that's the way to help people, more and more people living by the coast with limited roads to get out, right? Um, the track forecasting is enormously better. Intensity, no. So how strong the winds will be when they get there, we're still in our early days understanding that. And the reason we're in our early days is because it, you have to understand those thunderstorms and how they're interacting. And thunderstorms occur on times like hours, right? You know if you're down the beach, you can watch the under, afternoon thunderstorm blow up in a couple of hours. But the whole environment pushing the storm along changes much more slowly. So that's much more predictable. And we can observe that better with all the observational ways we can do things now. The thunderstorms are much harder nut to crack. So we're still working on that. 